Apple's Scary Fast event featured a host of new product announcements, including its newest MacBook Pro lineup. The tech giant's new products will feature its custom chips, the M3, M3 Pro, and M3 Max. Yahoo Finance tech editor Dan Howley has the details. Dan, was it scary for you? It was not scary, though they did stick to the Halloween theme the entire way through, but they did announce uh, some new chips and some new laptops, as well as a new iMac. So uh, let's just break it down real quick. The the first things that uh, they introduced were these new chips, the M3 line. And uh, Apple says that this is the first time that they're rolling out uh, three chips at once. It's the M3, the M3 Pro, and then the top of the line M3 Max. Uh, the difference between them really is that the M3 uh, is meant for you know general consumers. The M3 Pro is meant for more prosumers, uh, people that are doing some video editing, some photo editing, some gaming. Uh, and then the M3 Max is for what you know they've essentially said were people who are doing uh, high-end CAD uh, uh, illustrations, uh, people who are doing 3D animation, and then uh, folks. Uh, who are dealing with large language models and AI development. And so uh, the products uh, that they announced are the MacBook Pros, uh, the 14 and 16 inch models. Uh, and those are gonna start uh, at $1599 for the uh, 14 inch model uh, with the regular M3. Uh, an M3 Pro version starts at $1999 and then the uh, 16 inch MacBook Pro starts at $2499. So, little pricey proposition there, but that's always been the case with the the MacBook Pros. Uh, and really, I think, you know, one of the things that's interesting to to look at here is how Apple is is positioning these. They generally try to lean more towards creators, uh, video editors, photo editors, folks along those lines. But this time around, the way they were positioning these products was for uh, the average person, uh, you know, a student, uh, a uh, office worker, small business owner, uh, gamer, they, they really are seemingly trying to hit a large swath of the population rather than uh, what they're traditionally known for, which is, you know, slightly more niche users as well as, you know, big Apple fans. And so uh, they're, they're really trying to expand uh, out there. They talked about how there's uh, medical professionals who are using these uh, for different tests or different diagnostics, uh, diagnoses. Uh, there's also uh, the gamer aspect to it where they uh, explain that uh, the uh, laptops are better at running games overall. They have new effects, uh, dynamic caching for the GPU, which is supposed to uh, be better for gaming as well as uh, 3D animation, uh, ray tracing uh, that's hardware, ex hardware accelerated. Uh, and really saying, you know, over time, they're hoping to grow that gaming category and become uh, a larger name there. So, you know, these are, are very impressive chips. Uh, they're three nanometer. They're, uh, according to Apple, at least the first three nanometer chips that are available for consumer uh, computers. Uh, they're going to continue to do what they've done for Apple, which is provide huge amounts of performance and massive amounts of battery life, uh, you know. They're, they're saying up to 22 hours for the 16 inch. So we'll just have to see when we can get our hands on one. But, you know, it, it's it's a, another big kind of move for Apple in this this Mac space. As of right now, Dan, and in this most recent quarter, we should say the the Mac line really only accounted for what about 8% of the total financial performance for this company. You combine that with the fact that Gartner as you've written about has essentially called bottom on the PC market demand. So what does it mean that Apple is making these types of investments, these types of announcements even, in terms of the broader PC landscape? Yeah, I mean, it's it's just great timing for them to, to come out with these just as, you know, as you said, Gartner called the bottom uh, of the, the PC market. You know, after two years of declines, they're saying that it should start to return to growth. And so that that's just really fortuitous timing for Apple. Um, you know, these products are planned, you know, obviously very far in advance. Uh, and so I think it just happened this way that they they landed now. Um, I think that it'll help Apple grow the Mac uh, section, but I wouldn't expect to, uh, you know, going into these announcements coming up for the the, the earnings uh, to take anything away from what these products are going to do for the prior quarter. The prior quarter closed already, so you're going to be looking forward to uh, to the next quarter for, for an impact here. Uh, for the current quarter that's that's about to uh, be reported, though, yeah, uh, Apple sales uh, for for laptops is supposed to be lower, for desktops is supposed to be lower. Um, I forgot to mention they also uh, announced the the 24 uh, inch iMac. That's their uh, all-in-one desktop. 
uh, very popular among consumers, especially uh, you know people who have multiple people in their homes. Uh, so that's also uh, a chance for them to buoy their bottom line after uh, not upgrading that for for a few years there. So you know overall, it, it looks as though this is going to help improve the the Mac revenue. Uh, we just have to see how much of an impact it has, um, and you know what it means that we're going to see a turnaround in that segment uh, of uh, the you know broader. Uh, consumer tech landscape, especially since we saw such steep declines over the past two years. Yeah, quite the mischief night announcement coming from Apple there. Oh, mischief sure night, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly.